All right, guys, so we got to talk about a pretty epic moment here from Chicago journalist William J. Kelly, who is a guy that has been at odds with Mayor Lori Lightfoot uh, because he simply asked her tough questions. OK, this guy asked uh, Mayor Lightfoot a ton of tough questions about crime, businesses leaving, just how bad she has mismanaged this city. And Lori Lightfoot got so fed up with tough questions from a journalist that she decided to ban the guy from asking her questions, from coming to press conferences. She revoked his press pass, okay? Just because he asked tough questions to her. And recently, uh, Lori Lightfoot lost uh, re-election, okay? Uh, she's on the way out, and now this guy is getting his revenge, and I can't tell you guys how much I am so happy. I am so happy to hear him tell Lori Lightfoot to get the hell out of town. This is an absolute epic moment. So let's get into it. Reminder, please remember that all speakers must sign up to speak and speakers cannot yield or transfer their time to another speaker. Thank you. Our next speaker is William Kelly. Mayor Lightfoot, you and I may have gotten off on the wrong foot. Reporter uh, WilliamJKelly.com. I'm a veteran reporter in the city of Chicago, Emmy Award winning TV host, radio, print journalism. I should be sitting over there with my colleagues, but I'm, I'm standing over here because on a weekly basis I was going viral asking you obvious questions. And Instead of answering them, you told me that crime was down, my videos went viral, multi millions of views, comments, likes, and shares, and it was hurting your re-election campaign. That's why she did it, right? That's why she blocked the guy, right? That's why she censored him. That's why she banned And see, these, this is coming from the, the side of the political aisle that always wants to cry fascism, right? When she's literally out here banning journalists because they ask her tough questions. Amazing. I mean, absolutely amazing. Again, this wasn't enough to save her re-election, though. It wasn't enough. So you revoked my media credential. That should never happen in a free country. Nope. And I'm asking the city council to take the media credential process away from the, from the next mayor of Chicago and the next superintendent of police and put it in the hands of the, the Constitution. What you've done to the city of Chicago, I feel like this is more of a victim impact statement than an actual public comment. What you've done to me is nothing compared to what you've done to my city, the city of Chicago, the city that I was born and raised in, the city that I love with all my heart. You became mayor, the people of Chicago elected you. You shut down our schools, you shut down the churches, you shut down the businesses. You did the one thing that I thought could never happen. As somebody who, who was born and raised on the south side of Chicago, I never thought in my life that I would ever see the city of Chicago brought down so low as you have managed to bring it down. Shame on you. That is a legacy that you are going to have to carry. Future historians are going to have a, a hard time understanding how you, are ev how you ever even became mayor of the city of Chicago. I intend to write that book. I intend to make sure that at least uh, there is some possible way for the city of Chicago to, to move forward. I hope that you realize what damage you have done to the city. I hope that after today's city council meeting, you will pack your suitcase and get the hell out of my city. Facts. Facts. Mr. Kelly. Facts. Mr. You are a pandemic. You are a pandemic. Thank you. Bruh. Thank you, Mr. Bruh. I love that. Again, I've covered his story so many times on my channel, right? I've probably done at least seven, eight, nine videos on this back and forth between this journalist and Lori Lightfoot, right? And despite Lori Lightfoot, 
again, acting like a fascist, right? Banning this journalist because he's asking her tough questions. She still lost. And I love to see him get his revenge on her uh, by basically coming to a city council meeting after she lost and telling her to get the hell out because, again, the Chicago citizens rejected her. Now, the funny part is that if Lori Lightfoot actually would have listened to Mr. Kelly and realized that uh, there are problems with her city, actually did some self-reflection and tried to solve those problems, then maybe she would still be uh, mayor, right? Maybe she would have got reelected. But because she refused to listen to journalists and reporters like William Kelly, she wanted to listen to the ass kissers because she believes she has the biggest penis in Chicago. Um, this is what happens. OK, this is what happens when you're unable to self-reflect, when you're unable to acknowledge that, hey, I have problems. I need to fix these problems and stop playing victim. Stop blaming racism, sexism, bigotry and start looking at yourself internally and saying, what am I doing wrong? What can I do better? The only thing William J. Kelly was doing was pointing out to her, hey, you can do better. This is where we have issues. This is where you can do better. And instead of listening to that, she decided to ignore it. And this is the result. I love this moment for uh, Mr. Kelly. I really do. Uh, because I've been following this basically since it began. And it is sweet to see uh, it end up in a very positive place in the end where, you know, he is on top. And I hope that he gets his credentials back and Lori Lightfoot is on the way out the door. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.